Have you ever had this salad before? If the answer is no, then you need to try it out. And I assure you, you'll be making it all the time. Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'll be sharing with you how I make this mixed vegetable salad. Some people call it Macedonia, others call it Macedon. It is very creamy and delicious. I made it for Thanksgiving and everybody loved it. It is not the healthiest, but who cares? It is not as if we'll be eating it every day. For the main ingredients, we'll be needing sweet corn, sweet pea, carrots, and potatoes, which are diced as shown in the little video above. And for the dressing, we'll be needing mayo, mayonnaise, oil, any cooking oil of your choice, salt to taste, vinegar, garlic powder. You can also use fresh garlic and also black pepper. And for the dressing, you can add sugar if you like sweet dressing. And for the topping, we need olives, hard boiled eggs, tomato, homemade lotus. You can use any lotus of your choice. And these toppings are optional. You can use any other toppings of your choice. So to start, we're going to put a pot of water on a heat sauce. Let it boil and add in a little salt. And put in the corn and the sweet peas. Stir it. Cover it and let it boil for about 5 minutes. About 5 minutes later, I'll add in the carrot. And as soon as it starts boiling, I'll go ahead and add in the potatoes. And cook it for about 2 minutes. You do not want to overcook it. Most of the times, I just parboil it because I, we mostly like it when it's parboiled. But some people like it when it's cooked, but even though you cook it, don't make it too soft. When I'm done cooking the veggies, I'll pour it in the colander, then put it in a bowl of water containing ice. This is to stop the cooking process. If you do not have ice, then put it under running water or in a large bowl containing enough water. As I said, you don't want to overcook it. Then when you are done cooling it, put it back in a colander and let the, all the water to come out from it. I was straining the water out of the vegetables or go ahead and start prepping the toppings. I started by cutting the lettuce as you can see me doing. Then I will slice the eggs. I did my best to slice it as round as possible. Then I there are some tools for slicing eggs. You can use it if you have one. Here I'm also slicing the tomatoes. I'm going to slice it as round as possible. When I'm done slicing it, I'm going to set it aside to be used later. Oh, before I forget, you can also remove the seeds of the tomatoes if you do not like them. When what has completely strained out from the vegetables, I'm going to put it into a large mixing bowl. Then go ahead and add in salt black pepper garlic powder vinegar and oil i already added oil but i noticed i did not film that part so i had to redo it to make sure i show it in the video that's why i just added a little then i'll go ahead and add in the mayonnaise after adding the mayonnaise make sure to mix it very well so that it should combine very well take note before proceeding to this step make sure all the water is out from the vegetables after you boil or else your sauce is going to be honey and you will need lots of mayonnaise to catch up for that and also the quantity of mayo is according to your personal preferences At this point, I'm going to proceed to the second part of the dressing, which is to put everything together. I'll start by laying down the lettuce in the tray. I'll put it round and leave space in the middle in which I'm going to put the Macedoine.
when i'm done adding the macedon into the tray i'll go ahead and add in the tomatoes the eggs and the olives as you can see me doing but you can also decorate it as it pleases you and you can also use different toppings of your choice At this point I felt like something was lacking into my decoration, maybe some fresh herbs. But unfortunately I didn't have any fresh herbs left at home, so I opted for some onions. When you're done, pop it into the refrigerator for it to cool a little before consumption because it is more delicious when it is cool. So tell me which decoration did you like most, with the onion or without the onion? I remember about two years ago, I took it to a birthday party of about 200 and plus invitees. Not many people put it into their plate, I guess, because they do not really know it. So one man who took it just to try it, when he ate, he noticed it was so delicious. So he went again on the table and served more in his plate and he came and told his friends that it was delicious. That's how they went and served themselves in less than no time. In less than no time it was finished imagine this large tree aluminium disposable tree everything was gone in less than no time so thank you all for watching it was a pleasure to have you around and please share this video with your family and friends who would like to try on something new during this festive period and leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to get notified each time i upload a new video so then take care and see you ciao